I mean, look at this guy. I love him. This material is classified as a satire to expose stupidity and corruption in contemporary politics under Section 107 of the Fair Use Act. So for those of you who are unaware, two days ago on December 24, 2012, the United Nations Arms Trade Treaty took effect. And this is basically just international gun control. Um, some provisions of the treaty are Article 2 of the treaty defines the scope of the treaty's prohibitions. The right to own, buy, sell, trade, or transfer all means of armed resistance, including handguns, is denied to civilians by this section of the Arms Trade Treaty. Article 3 places the ammunition, munitions fired, launched, or delivered by the conventional arms covered under Article 2 within the scope of treaties prohibitions as well. Article 4 rounds out the regulations, also placing all parts and components of weapons within the scheme. And perhaps the most immediate threat to the rights of the gun owners in the Arms Trade Treaty is found in Article 5, under the title of General Implementation. Article 5 mandates that all countries participating in this treaty shall establish and maintain a national control system, including a national control list. This list should apply the provisions of this treaty to the broadest range of conventional arms. Although the treaty's ubiquitous aim is regulation of export and import of small arms for signatories, or the countries that are involved in this treaty, the treaty poses international gun control. Of the 130 nations that signed the treaty, only 60 ratified it. Russia, China, India, and Pakistan didn't even sign it. The Obama administration signed the treaty in September 2013, which is over a year ago, but the good news is for now that the Senate hasn't passed it or hasn't ratified it yet. The bad news is that in the future the Senate can revisit ratification if the Democrats once again gain control of the Senate. So the treaty only binds those nations that have ratified it, and Congress should therefore continue to oppose ratification of the ATT or the Arms Trade Treaty and ensure that it is not implemented before it passes through the entire U.S. treaty process. Because if it does, we'll be involved in this whole international gun control registry scheme that they've got going on. They want to know who's got the guns and if you pose a threat to them they want to be able to take them away from you. They want the authority to control who has weapons. And if this treaty is ratified it'll completely nullify our Constitution and our Second Amendment rights to keep and bear arms. Because if you're deemed a threat you don't get a gun. Merry Christmas. On Christmas Day, I travel around the world and say, That was Christmas bonus and all you atheists too. Merry f***ing Christmas to you. Thank you, Mr. Hand.